Hi everyone, Sulhani from Uncle Salis Project. I have here a Alpha 7.2 with a um, 2470mm lens. This lens, uh, we got it at a good bargain price and actually going to do a servicing of the lens. So what happens is this lens, it has a problem of noise. So if I turn on the camera, you can actually hear the rattling within the lens. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the lens and to see and understand what's the problem of this lens. This lens itself, it is actually able to focus. It's able to focus on the subject, it is pointed. But somehow there's some rattling sound and not sure where it actually comes from. And so today the goal is to actually open up the lens and investigate the cause of the noise. So we're going to turn off the camera and we're going to remove it from the camera so we put the camera aside so for today's investigation and troubleshooting of this um, lens we're going to use a screwdriver to first open up the four Philip head screws at the top first then we remove this ring followed by the next layer inside so I have a fine Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to open up the lens Let's pick up the screws four screws all together and I'm going to put it nicely aside okay, so all the four screws has been removed and I carefully lift up this ring section and carefully lifting it because there's a flex cable okay so there are a few um, plastic and metal shims which is being placed on the specific part of the lens itself to help minor adjustments of the alignment of the lens so I'm just going to remove this so there's a plastic one so with the help of a tweezer it's going to remove this shims and there's one metal one here, a thin copper one. So it looks like it's being glued in place. So that's one side. And I'm going to remove this same white piece, followed by a, a copper one. Okay, so this is the copper shim. Now I'm going to slowly remove the ring as there's a flex cable attached to it and I have to make sure that I remove this flex cable carefully but not carefully not breaking any of the leads okay so we have the flex cable here we just put it aside so now we have the access to this second layer with the PCB these are all rubber mounts so the Sony lenses actually uses these rubber mounts and now we're going to remove this PCB printed circuit board by lifting up the going to remove carefully flex cable by pulling it out carefully on the edge on the sides okay so there's one flex cable here and also there's another one over here going to now carefully remove this flex cable by pushing the two ends carefully like this okay so now the flex cable is out now we can work on releasing the outer shell here okay so now we're going to loosen the screws they are one two and a couple more underneath the PCB so now that we have removed the flex cable we can slowly lift up the PCB like that carefully and this PCB can be lifted out so we put the PCB aside now we have one two three four screws that will allow us to remove this outer top shell so we're going to remove bottom one first I normally put the label at the bottom so that I can actually know which way to begin and which way to end the unscrewing. So the, the bottom of the of the lens is always facing towards me. Okay, so there's one screw down. Second screw. Third screw. And this is the fourth one. Now we can lift this up and we can put this aside. 
so just now there's one more screw which actually dropped in here i'm just going to carefully remove the screw inside here it's for the screw so there's four screws that secure the barrel the outer barrel okay so we have now the shell out now we're going to inspect to see what could have caused that noise so i'm just going to give it a little wiggle to see if it's anything that is uh, obvious so basically this is how the lens is constructed so this is the mechanical notch which actually connects the ring the outer ring to the inner mechanism okay so what we're going to do now we're going to try to look into this section and understand what could have caused that problem cool. so there is actually a circuit here so what we can try to do is remove this portion Okay, there's two small screws here. Be careful not to lose it. Okay, I'm just going to remove these two notch here. And here. So this actually disengages the zoom ring from the inner barrel assembly and I'm going to remove this screw here and this allows us to take this off like that. So just put this aside. So this is basically the assembly, the outer barrel. Okay, there are one, two, three screws here which looks like it's actually holding this inner module so I'm just going to loosen that yep so it actually looks like it's releases this whole module like that Okay, so now we have the the inner assembly. So this is your focus element. Now what we're going to do, we're not going to open up anymore. We're going to just um, work on to see if there's any problem within this assembly itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up this top cover, which is the cover to the focusing module inside. So there's three screws, one, two, and three. Just going to remove them. One, two, and three. So I'm going to carefully re remove this top cover. Okay. So just lift up the top section. Put it aside. So it looks like this is the fo focusing element which is moving in and out like that there's two guide pins might be able to remove this bushing that holds the inner group the inner module here so this is basically the af focus module something is causing it to rattle yeah it could be this it could be this thing which is rattling during operation Yeah, it's looking like it's loose. A known problem of this lens is this coil here, which actually came loose, which comes loose. This coil, this little coil in there, which is the solenoid coil, which is actually um, used by the autofocus, autofocusing mechanism, which is actually loose. You see that? That copper piece in there is actually loose. So one of the ways is to actually glue back the 
mechanism in place so i think i'll just give it a shot i'm going to try to remove this whole mechanism out and see if i can do a rework onto the uh, focusing coil itself what i'll do i'll attempt to remove this bushing these three bushings so this bushing is always aligned to this screws here so i'll not remove the bottom elements so now i'll just attempt to just remove the inner group and the third one okay. so now should be able to remove this inner assembly hopefully I don't snag any flex cable I'm just going to use a marker to mark so I know where the PCB actually is aligned to. Just going to move this pin. This is the racking pin which holds the autofocus module oops there you go so this is the whole autofocus module so this is the module itself This is where the problem lies so as you can see the coil here this coil is supposed to sit flat onto this black color um, focusing element module okay like that it should be sitting flat in like that okay but now it's actually dislodged you can see this thing is dislodged like that okay so now we need to glue it back so that it sits nicely inside here and I'm going to apply some glue here at the side okay on this side and also glue on this side okay on this side of the coil um, there is actually the flex cable so it's actually holding this coil in place on this side of the um, coil okay so I think we need to reinforce it mechanically with the glue okay? so that it can hold this um, section of the lens whereas on this side okay we can actually apply the glue here okay you can apply the glue here such that it will not move out you see i can actually move the whole coil out from its place now so i'm going to apply the glue here and possibly reinforce some glue maybe over here and i don't want to block any um of the coil over here for the magnet okay so i don't want to upset any of the mag magnetism for the autofocus right so now just clean up the lens before i put it back in place so now i'm going to prepare the epoxy glue and i'm going to apply over here okay so side that it holds the coil back in its place so one more time you can see i can move this the coil is actually separated from the the element the carriage so the focusing element carriage is now detached from the auto focusing coil so this is the problem and hopefully once we fix it glue it back then we will reassemble and we see if the problem the sound goes away <laughs>